Escape Academy Tag the Monument. I apologize for the long videos. Right, it's kind of difficult to monument. chop Easy. these down into individual segments. I also apologize for the narration, but it's probably helpful to have a little bit of an idea of what we're doing. So first we came over to this whiteboard. Give us an idea of what we're looking for. This cabinet here, we're gonna grab that painting. But then in this one here is a bananas. Over here is the cheese. And then right there is the wine. So we got all the items from that board. Now we look at the painting and we see from left to right, it's cheese, bananas, wine. We set up the table. So we wrap around to the other side and we see it created the numbers one, three, nine. We enter that on this lock here. We got some anti-invisible ink. Come over here quickly. And in this empty frame, we're gonna put that painting that we found. It's not the first time my art's been torn to shreds. Just need to arrange it in its correct logical order. You can just look at how the painting ends up once I've uh, finished here. That'll let you know what order to put it in. That's your final product. And we're gonna follow the arrows on the painting. Right, left, right, up, down, down. That's gonna be the combo to get into this door here. on the doors here come in here you can go straight over to this scanner that's going to reveal three invisible statues that we're going to match up with out in the yard there's one and you can see that little design on there in yellow that's a second one little circle and the three dots on the large keyhole structure I'm gonna come back in here those were in order one two and three so now you can see where those shapes correspond to the buttons that are gonna be on the safe One, two, three. Now we're gonna use our anti-invisible ink here. It's gonna reveal a painting of some wires. So we're gonna trace all the wires from the colors back to those dials next to the door and where two wires of color meet one of those crosses with a plus sign that just means we're going to combine the colors yellow and blue make green 
Red and blue make purple. And then you can trace these out yourself or you can just enter them in the way that I enter them here and you're going to get that door open. into the teacher's office I know that game this room's where you're gonna find your paint there it is now we're off to figure out a way to get to the monument itself across the yard and we're gonna start examining these various vases with paintings on top and what we're looking for here is that where the outline of the vase is two faces and in that first one we saw that first vase that made two faces we saw the eyes of this were sloping off down to our right so we put that in place then there is this vase which also has the two faces we're going to match the eyebrows from there and there's one on this side and that's going to give us the position of the mouth which is basically the middle position. And in case you didn't notice, we put that uh, weird uh, statue that we found, we, that was the nose for this, and we put that in place. I'll never forget the day I finally got a piece in here. Snuck it in myself. Now we're going to grab some keys. There are numbers above these three caged doors. We got a five key and a two key, that equals seven. This is the seven door. So we're just gonna use two keys that add up to seven. Now look at the silhouettes here on the outside of the door. These two statues are looking to our left. We match them up. These here looking to the right. So we go in, match the silhouettes to the statues, and then get the heads in the correct position. And we got some more keys. A good secret entrance. So we got three keys, but we need only two of them to get into this room, and then we'll need the third one to get into the last room. So this is a 10. This room has a 10 above it, so we use a 7 and a 3. Now we look at these paintings. It's a little gruesome, but each painting uh, exhibits a decapitation. Well, sorry, three of the four exhibit a decapitation. We're going to go match up those paintings with the statues of the characters that were decapitated and we're going to decapitate the statues as they were in the paintings and that reveals one more key that we need to get into the last room and that's going to lead us to the monument now here we're going to use the only two keys we have And what we're going to do is we're going to arrange the busts inside this room in order of the total height 
that the characters are. You can see there's a picket fence that you can measure three characters against. Then there is pictures of other characters standing next to other characters. And that's how you can figure out the order of height of all of these characters. Or you can just put them in the order I'm putting them in and that will work just as well. That's the proper order. Now we can go tag the monument. Good job, we're on to the next room. It's official. You're up there with the greats. <laughs>